Well, a lot of us are searching for those unique holiday gifts, and Lindsay Thies has set out to find some great gift ideas for us. She's sharing the stories behind the artisans who make them. Lindsay Thies is live downtown today with our Handmade in the Heartland series. Lindsay, what do you have today? That's right. Well, and it's really cool because they do a lot of bags. They also do aprons. You can see, quite honestly, a lot of the restaurants around here, I've had servers that wear them. This gal's working really hard on right now. But of course, artifact bags are definitely known for the bags. And they've been featured in, you know, places like the New York Times and GQ. Take a look. The definition of an artifact is an object being made by a human being. Typically, it's of cultural or historical interest. And inside the workshop for artifact bags, whether it's cut, stitched, or hammered, these objects are made by human beings, all by hand. Looking up at the walls of the workshop, you get a really good feel for Chris Hughes, maker of artifact bags. This business started from a love of relics. And I still have a love for soldiers and cowboys. I, I just, I, I love movies and, and the history uh, and, and the look, and that's something that's always carried with me. So in 2010, when the recession hit and Hughes had the option for a career change. I just got really interested in the idea of uh, creating my own company where I design, manufacture, and market my own product. Taking a leap of faith, well, you could say he had it in the bag. Fast forward to today, six employees help make the hundreds of bags on back order this time of year. Artifacts, bags, and aprons are on the high end. The quality leather, canvas, and materials are made to last. And Hughes even offers a lifetime guarantee all aspects that will likely lead to the second part of that definition. I strive to make my product be its own artifact where someone is using it for their entire life and it's bequeathed to somebody else to use. So back out here live, a couple of different examples here, nice little tote, also their weekend bags they say are really popular. So let's say you want to snag a bag. Go ahead and check out this story online, kmtv.com slash upfront at four. Like I said, all this week we're doing our Handmade in the Heartland series. So just look for that story that's titled Handmade in the Heartland Artifact Bags. And with the story, we will have a link to their website where they sell them online. We're live downtown today. I'm going to send it back to you, Emily. That is awesome. I had no idea those bags were made here. As Lindsay mentioned, they have been mentioned in places like GQ. Very right. high-end bags and high-end magazines. So that is awesome to know. Beautiful right here locally. Yes, yes, it is.